what we're going to do is uh, install the 47693 16P 16P 16 port module. The product includes the instruction manual, the push pins, a power supply module, and the splitter amplifier. To, to mount this into the structure media center, it mounts, it's more than, more than just half width wide, but it's not full width wide. So you can mount it off to one side or off to the other side. We're gonna go on this side where our cables are. So I'll put the plunge, and you wanna look at this here, plunger pin here and here, and not there or there. So we have four of them. So to put it on one side, we use these two pins. If we're gonna switch to the other side, we use these two pins. They come separated like this. So you get four bases and four plunger pins, or four, um, you have four bases and four plungers. You want to install the bases first. Do not pre-assemble the pins and the bases, because by doing so, there we go, drop it around the floor. Install these first without the plungers installed, or it will not fit. Switching over to the other side. And here. So that will allow this product to sit like so. And we'll go ahead and install the plungers. One, two, three, four. And last. There we go. To install the module, Pull it out to the first click, set it in location where you want it. All right, this module has a tilt adjustment to it. So the, the normal operation is here with your cables terminated. In order to make it easier to install the cables, this module can be tilted out and pulled towards you. When, it, when you pull it towards you, it locks it in place so that you can do your termination when you're done, push in, and then rotate. We have four cables terminated. One of them is the strike. This is coming from the street. This is coming uh, into the house. This goes into the cable TV input port. Make sure it is screwed all the way down and snug. That's your input. We have three output cables for three rooms in the house. We'll choose to install these here in one, two, and three. Make sure to tighten these all the way down. We have a modem here as part of our triple play service. We need to connect the cable bypass port to the modem. It's best to go ahead and make that cable on site. So we have some quad cable here. We're gonna make this cable long enough to reach from this port and up and into the, up and into the, the uh, modem. So only need it to be about so long. This, this particular device, the 1x16, has, a second, has this output port for the modem as it, is a, uh, it allows a return path for the output from the modem out to the street that's unobstructed. So it has an unamplified return path, which is required by most cable television companies offering this service. This is why we have the tilted, tilted bracket. Getting access to this back part with this very stiff cable is much is much easier by allowing the product to tilt out. Okay, remount our modem, tilt our bracket, and we'll take our cables and push them back out the top of the box just to get rid of the slack. We'll push it into the wall cavity above. We'll tie that down. Take your power module and terminate power to the device.